I know I said no more outline effect in 2020, but I'll give you a pass for this effect. This is the infinite tunnel effect. I'm going to show you my technique. You're, there's no duplication in it. You don't have to duplicate it and then go th make a camera and all that. It's just my way of doing it. I think it's way easier. So here it is. I'm going to show you and it's going to be fast, hopefully. In After Effects, we have the usual jump cut, nothing too special. And we're going to do the infinite tunnel around him into a transition like we showed in the previews. Usual, highlight your second clip that you want your transition. I press Control D, it'll duplicate it. We don't need to do anything else since we're gonna change this. So just go up here to your pen tool, make sure you're on, your cursor's on the first frame, and just do the usual outline mask. Now I am not gonna fast forward this because this is a short tutorial anyway, and you guys can see how I mask. G. Okay, so now we have a mask. Don't move this because if not, you'll have you know a regular outline effect. So don't move this. Don't do anything. Now go over here to your timeline slash whatever where all your layers are. Right click new shape layer. Now open this up. This shape layer. Add. Make sure you click this little add button. Add. And add a. Where is it? Path. Path. Open up the path. And now we'll need to select our masked clip, which is this one right here. Open that up. Open up the mask. Open up the mask again. And on mask path, make sure that's highlighted. Press Control C to copy it. Command C on Mac. And on path, on the shape layer, path 1, make sure you highlight path. It won't work unless you click on it. Highlight path and press control V. Now we'll have a path in our shape layer, but we won't be able to see anything. So now we need to add a stroke. Just click on the add again and add a stroke. You can do gradient stroke if you'd like, which I'll do it just for this tutorial, gradient stroke. Now, if you look at it, we'll have a gradient stroke. Now we can make the stroke wider, which will give it more of the effect. And I'll show you how to polish it up later. Um, if you guys like the black, nice. Okay, I'm gonna switch that out because that was annoying me, sorry. Um, so yeah, just regular stroke and then make it wide. I use about 10, actually this is 13. Yeah, we'll just use 13 for this tutorial. And then now we'll have an outline. So now we need to do the infinite tunnel. Go back to your shape layer, and I like to just close down everything so it doesn't look ugly. Click add again, repeater, and then now you'll have three. Open up the repeater, and once you get to a, like, I would say about more than 20, it starts to become ugly. So now we need to move the repeater, so open up the transform repeater one, open that up. And I like to move the position. Other people like to use the anchor point, but sometimes that doesn't work for me, like right now. So I like to move the position, just move that to zero. And on the scale, just scale this up. Now, we already have a tunnel effect kind of going right now, but the problem is, is after we scale it up a few, let's say I think until it reaches right here, you can kind of see it just disappears. So the way I like to do is I like to have this scaled up already to where I need it to be. And then where I want to start my transition, which is probably around right here, I'm going to open up the regular transform for the shape layer, which is on the bottom right here. If you can see my mouse right here, open that up and then just scale this up by itself. So then I would need to do a couple keyframe masks on this scale transform scale so I'm gonna click this little time watch and then I'm gonna go right here and then pretty much where you want your first outline to be which is about you know let's say right here I'm gonna change the scale back to 100 and then I'll go back to the transform repeater make a keyframe right here where the same keyframe was where my tra regular transform ended. Transform repeater scale, make a keyframe right there. 
and then go to the end of my transition, which is from this marker or from the clips, remember? And then the scale, I can just bring it down to 100. Like that. So if you look at it, we'll have the infinite tone transition. Now, you'll see right here where it just zooms in and then automatically snaps onto place. You can just change that by changing the keyframes. I right click the keyframe and I'm going to use easy in. We'll see how that looks. That looks way better than it just snapping into place. Now, you can mess with the timing of everything, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it like that. It looks good to me. Now we'll see, we'll have this. What you can do is you can finish off the transition by cutting off the shape layer right here and then deleting it. And so when the transition finish, you know, it does this, but that doesn't look, it looks kind of ugly to me. So I'm just going to add a few extra steps. I'm going to go back to the transform repeater, the scale, and I'm going to go about, you know, let's say five to seven frames. And I'm just going to drag this down. So it looks like the infinite tunnel continues. And at the same time, I'm going to go back to the first keyframe of the clip where the transition is. I'm going to make a keyframe where they start opacity. I'm going to go to the end of my tunnel and I'm just going to drag the opacity all the way down. And then I guess I need to do that for the end opacity as well. I usually don't do that, but just the end opacity like that. So if you look at it, it looks, it doesn't look as ugly and it looks, you know, it, it doesn't look as choppy. I would say it looks more cohesive and flowing. Now I'm going to show you how to make this shape or this outline pretty. So let's say if you wanted um, a glow, like let's say you wanted to Im like imitate Saber, just type in glow and then we'll use the After Effects glow, which is just a glow, style as glow. Make sure your shape layer is selected, drag that glow onto it. And the settings I use is I think 80% and the glow radius, just drag that up to about right here. And then now you'll have a glow. Oh, what is that? So now you have a glow tunnel like this. And then you can also use Ecto, which is your guys' favorite plugin, which is I used in some of the intros. Ecto, and then you'll have, whoa, crazy. It's like a outline effect times 20. Uh, changes to warm, yada, yada, yada. And then let's say if we want to change the color of the outline, I'm freestyling this to see if I know how to do it. Path, make sure, just click on path one and stroke up here. Just double click that, change that to red. And then now we can put our glow back on. We'll have a glowing tunnel or we could put on our ecto. And then we'll have this ecto and then if you change the color, it'll give it that crazy effect. So that's it for this tutorial. It was a fast one. I have projects to do, but thanks for watching.